Father. Because I can get rid of the demons. I can block the ladder. Hi, everyone. Um, Jacob's Ladder is uh, one of my favorite movies along with, uh, well, of course, uh, 1984. Um, well, the 1984-1984 the 1984 movie, but of course the book is better. But the, the version with John Hurt is, uh, is pretty good. Um, and uh, I also very much like Dark City. And uh, yeah, and, and, and then there is Jacob's Ladder. Uh, th those are pretty much my favorite movies. Uh, and I talked about the other two, but I didn't talk about Jacob's Ladder yet. And I, I wanted to talk about it for a long time. Um, and I feel, on the one hand, there is a lot of to there is a lot of lot to talk about. And uh, well, because you, it, it's you know, it's also one of those movies. Um, that has a lot of symbolism. That is, uh, yeah, it's very actually in that in that sense, it's very similar to Dark City. It's it's very dark, and it has a lot of symbolism, and it's almost entirely uh, uh, symbolic. Uh, but um, as as opposed to a, a lot of other movies like that, um, Jacob's Ladder actually does a pretty good job at explaining itself. So I was like, yeah, well, on the one hand, there is a lot of, to explain about, but on the other hand, it pretty much explains itself. <laughs> um, but I still want to talk about it because it's such a great movie. Um, and, um, and there are still some different interpretations of it. Uh, so I, I, I'll just give you my interpretation. And of course, what I really want to do to do is watch the movie if you haven't watched it yet so uh, go watch Jacob's letter and uh, don't continue to watch uh, uh, well uh, my interpretation because uh, of course it will give away spoilers um, so uh, yeah it's d don't don't continue to watch this now if you haven't seen the movie and don't read anything about the movie just go watch the movie you know, it's one of those movies, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it, it can be very easily spoiled. So if you haven't seen it, go watch the movie and then come back and uh, listen to my interpretation. So from now on, I'm assuming uh, uh, you have watched the movie. So um, here go, uh, here go the spoilers. So of course, um, it's very obvious, uh, Jacob's Ladder uh, inspired a lot of movies and even some video games you know n notably the entire silent hill franchise is basically just a blatant ripoff um and even even the style and everything uh so um there is also in the first silent hill uh, a video game which which was uh, kind of like a movie because it has had those uh cinematic sequences um, there is one ending, one one bad ending. So in that sense, it's kind of like a visual novel. <laughs> but um, there was one bad ending in in the first Silent Hill game um, that revealed uh, that he had died. He he had already died in in the car crash in the beginning. Uh, so that was pretty much a rip off uh, of Jacob's letter, along with everything else. Uh, from Silent Hill, <laughs> uh, in Silent Hill, and um, yeah, well, so uh, when they when when people give away the spoiler to Jacob's Ladder, a lot of people will tell you, uh, you know, one of those it it it, it will tell you the, the typical line, he's been dead all along. You know, there were a lot of movies like that, and so people think, oh yeah, it's it's one of those movies where he's been dead all along, and that's the spoiler. Actually, that isn't the spoiler because he's not been dead all along. People confuse it with, uh, uh, you know, with like Silent Hill and other uh, uh, movies that were basically ripping off Jacob's Ladder. But actually, if you really look at it closely, in Jacob's Ladder, he's not dead all along. Um, he he only dies. At the very, very end, uh, he's actually alive uh, uh, 
through, through, through almost all of the movie. You know, it's just it's just like in the last minute of the movie that he actually dies. Uh, so he's not been dead all along. Uh, this is a misconception people developed, you know, by confusing the original with, uh, with, with all the movies that came after Jacob's Ladder and that basically ripped it off. The only thing that burns in hell is the part of you that won't let go of your life. Your memories, your attachments. They burn them all away, but they're not punishing you, he said. They're freeing your soul. If you're frightened of dying and, and you're holding on, you'll see devils tearing your life away. But if you've made your peace, then the devils are really angels freeing you from the earth. Actually, with uh, um, that little clip that I showed you, um, the movie already pretty much explained itself. So what is happening is that, um, uh, 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 you know, throughout the movie, uh, uh, we see uh, we see him in Vietnam, and uh, we see how he's injured. Uh, him being, you know, the whole process of, well, ba basically he's he's struggling to survive for most of the movie and we see those little flashbacks to Vietnam and at the beginning we, we assume those are flashbacks to Vietnam or those are his dreams when it's actually the other way around uh, what what he perceives as reality you know uh, 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 him being in New York and being with uh, Chesabel uh, and, uh, and working for, for the post office and all that uh, that's the dream and uh, uh, his his dreams of Vietnam those are the reality that's what's happening right now um, so the the movie uh, actually doesn't take place in New York um, uh, uh, do, during the the mid 70s it actually takes place in Vietnam uh, during the early 70s and everything that happens afterwards is his dream. At least that's my interpretation. Um, so what happened is that, uh, you know, they did those experiments and he was drugged. Um, because of being drugged, they all, you know, gotten very paranoid and uh, started to kill each other. So he was injured and... Um, and, you know, he was severely injured, mortally uh, uh, injured, and, and, and he's, he's struggling to survive. And on top of that, he's been drugged. So it's, it's basically his dying dream, but it's also enhanced. Uh, 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 his dying dream is, is enhanced by the fact that he's been drugged on, on top of that. So uh, he develops a lot of paranoia and and th that manifests uh, itself in the dream um, a a as the demons, for example. And actually, it's a it's pretty much a life and death struggle for him. And uh, he tries uh, uh, he tries to keep on, you know. He tries he he thinks of uh, of uh, um, you know of, of 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 his memories. That, that's why you have basically have two realities. You have the reality where he's in the in the future with Chesabel, and he ha and you have the reality uh, where, uh, where where he's thinking of the past, uh, uh, you know, where, where for example where his uh, kid is still alive, and thinking of those pleasant memories and trying to hold on. But uh, the more he tries to hold on, the more painful it is for him. Um, well, then that is pretty much explained in the movie because, of course, none of that is real. And uh, it's uh, it's also yeah well I, I guess I guess him being drugged uh, uh, also plays a role so um, his 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 uh, dream pretty much turns into a nightmare and of course then you have the um, uh, 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 you have the philosophical aspect um, where actually there is um, uh, there there is a part there is a rather large part. Um, of the movie that that has been cut 
um, you know, the deleted scenes. Uh, and um, in the deleted scenes, uh, you can you can see the true uh, image of of Chesabel because of course uh, Chesabel is uh, uh, one of those demons, uh, but he created it. You know, uh, um, <laughs> basically what Chesabel, uh, you know, like uh, like his uh, chiropractor uh, explained. Um, he's he's he he's holding on and he's holding on to to also to all uh, uh, his attachments and to to all the uh, uh, the the pleasures of life so that's why he created Chesabel uh, Chesabel is of course a demon uh, and it becomes very obvious by the name uh, if, if you actually look up who Chesabel uh, uh, is uh, you know in, in biblical terms um, so Ch Chesabel is very obviously is a demon uh, but he created it because uh, he was, you know, he was in the process of dying, but he was still attached to, you know, to a lot of things in life. And, you know, and uh, at that point in life, uh, he, he, he probably thought, well, it was so boring. My wife is so boring. And uh, now I'm freaking dying. And I, I, I didn't even have, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, any real good looking girl you know just my old wife and and here i'm dying and the only the only uh, uh, uh woman i ever had is my boring wife and uh, <laughs> you know and 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 that's when he makes up uh, uh, uh chesabel who's basically uh, his uh, his uh, uh wet dream fantasy uh and who is then revealed to to actually you know be himself which makes it even more obvious that he created her uh it's it's his uh, desires basically manifest and uh so she also she she does play that's why she does play the the role of a, a, a demon she she has because it's a well she basically came you know she she's basically the manifestation of a uh, of 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 bad thoughts that he has while dying, uh, uh, so she does have a a, a bad effect. She does, um, <clears throat> well, she does she does play the role of the demon in the context of the movie, um, you know, where where the chiropractor explains that uh, you see demons tearing your life apart, and uh, you know, burning away all the attachments and all the memories and stuff like that and that's literally what she does that's literally what she does like right at the beginning of the movie uh, 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 he, he sent this envelope with all those pictures of his kids and his wife and that's what he's holding on to and Chesabel just takes all those memories in essence and literally burns them, throws them in the incinerator so that's that's literally what she does. And of course, another thing from the deleted scenes is uh, that guy, um, you know, trying to help him, uh, 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 trying to 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 block the ladder, to to tr trying to block uh, 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 the um, uh, the drug. But it's funny that they call the drug the ladder because actually then then it sounds like uh, he's, you know, when when you say he's trying to block the ladder and that's exactly, you know, what he's saying. He's saying he tries to block the ladder. He doesn't say, oh, I'm trying to block the drug. He says, I'm trying to block the ladder, block the ladder. And, and then you can view it from two angles. On the one hand, it uh, probably represents him trying to, uh, uh, you know, trying to overcome the effects of the drug because the whole time he's still under the effect of the drug because it hasn't been years since he was administered the drug. It's just been a few minutes in reality. So he's still t struggling uh, 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 with the effects of, of the drug. And of course, the drug increases his paranoia and uh, probably is also responsible for in inducing those, those nightmares he basically has. Um, so, um, so him trying to block the ladder, uh, uh, 
you know, that, that might be symbolic, or at least that's how I see it. I see it as symbolical of him struggling with the effects of the drug and, and struggling to overcome uh, the effects of the drug, you know, which, which are still in effect because he just, he, he just only took it. So he's he's trying to overcome the the the, the bad effects uh, the drug has. That that's what it symbolizes. But on the other hand, it also symbolizes another thing because when he says he's trying to block the ladder, then you know this this movie is very big on names. You know, no name in this movie is coincidental. So of course uh, the movie is called Jacob's Ladder, and he's called Jacob. It's not a coincidence. So then if you look up Jacob's Ladder and, you know, you look what it means in the Bible and, 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 and you know what Jacob's Ladder is, Jacob's Ladder is a ladder to heaven. Um, basically, it's a ladder to salvation. But then again, um, he wants to block that. Of course, he wants to block that. He, he doesn't only want to, to block the drug, but he also wants to block the, the, his salvation. He's, he's standing in the way of his own salvation. That's also why Jezebel, the main demon, so to say, uh, turns out to be him himself. He himself is standing uh, 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 in the way of his own salvation. He himself, he, he created his own demons who are standing in the way of his own salvation. Um, because he doesn't want to go up that ladder, you know? He, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't want to go to heaven. He doesn't want to climb up uh, that Jacob's ladder to heaven. You know, he doesn't want to go up the staircase to heaven. He's still holding on to life. So um, he has created his own demons, and he is his own demons, and standing in the way of his own salvation. And that's also why uh, uh, he wants to block the ladder, which. Uh, of course can also mean that he wants to block the way to his salvation because uh, uh, you know ladder can uh, also refer to to Jacob's ladder of course so it's not it's not a coincidence that they call it that so yeah I think I, I pretty much uh, covered it <laughs> or at least that's that's my interpretation. Maybe you have another interpretation, and I, I, I'd love to hear it. Actually, this is one of the movies I really uh, 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 wanted to talk about um, with, uh, I, I, I'll just call him the, 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 the brony preacher, you know, uh, um, uh, you know the, the preacher I've been talking to. Uh, well, preacher, uh, minister, minister. I, I call him the, the, the brony preacher. Uh, preacher, but he's a he's a real minister, and uh, maybe you've seen my um, my uh, live streams with him, and I really wanted to uh, talk with him uh, about how he how he sees this movie as a as a Christian minister, uh, because it has so much Christian symbolism in it, but he didn't want to. Uh, he didn't want to talk about it, which I think is a shame. It's it's such a shame, you know. Uh, he didn't want to talk about it because it's well. He said, "Well, it's a horror movie." Well, yeah, man. I, I don't even know if you can call it a horror movie. I guess you can call it a horror movie, yes. But you know, if if you look on IMDb, it doesn't just say horror movie. It's well, horror movie is somewhere in there, but it also says. Uh, uh, drama and mystery so it's not only a horror movie and 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 for me I, I see it as a very uh, uh, philosophical and and so symbolical movie um, but he doesn't <laughs> and, and 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 it has a lot of uh, uh, references to the Bible and uh, but but he doesn't want to talk about it because he says it's a horror movie which, which I think is a shame you know and then and then he goes <laughs> and then he goes watch um uh uh he, he goes watching um uh, soul eater instead oh like like that doesn't have horror elements in it yeah well <laughs> um and actually uh, for a lot of uh, uh for a lot of the the the, the, the really uh, uh you know classic uh, uh, and 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 well-made horror movies um they all have a lot of symbolism, you know. I watched uh, I watched some of the movies um, uh, 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 that uh, Minister recommended to me, and I watched some of uh, uh, some. There were some movies in in the U.S. that are 
uh, entirely made by Christians. You know, and a lot of Christian movies uh, being made by by Christians in the U.S. And some of them are really good. Uh, I I really like some of them, but some of the others, you know, they 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 they're called Christian movies and they're made by Christians and they're marketed to Christians. But for, for some of those movies, it it just seems like they, they want to make money with them, like like people want to make money with, with basically a, any other movie, of course. Um, and, uh, you know, some of those movies, some of those so-called Christian movies, I, I don't I don't even think they have uh, uh, they have as much symbolism and, and a, as much deeper meaning in it. As 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 some of the uh, as some of these so-called horror movies I've been talking about. Of course, most Christians wouldn't watch those horror movies, uh, so they they <laughs> they don't know. They don't know that a lot of those horror movies, so-called horror movies, actually have deeper symbolism in it than some of uh, uh, the, the the Christian movies, so-called Christian movies. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> 